This demo walks through a source to prod continuous delivery flow for an application deployed via containers on Google Cloud Platform. It demonstrates a process where a push to a release branch in GitHub triggers a series of build, deploy, and promotion events through to a Kubernetes cluster, employing best practices in several key areas. We'll show the demo first, then walk through its components to explain in more detail how it works. The app is a simple Hello World app written in Go. Currently, it displays Hello GCP in all environments. The developer makes a change and initiates a release by promoting code to the release branch in GitHub. Google Container Registry Build starts a container build. The new container is built and stored in Google Container Registry, tagged with the triggering commit hash. A Spinnaker pipeline is triggered to pull the new image and deploy it out to a staging Kubernetes environment using blue-green deployment strategy. At the completion of the staging pipeline, a validation pipeline is triggered to confirm that what's in staging looks good for promotion to production. We check our app in staging and confirm whether the new message looks good. It looks good, so we click Continue. A promotion pipeline kicks off to deploy the change to our production Kubernetes environment. It picks up the image that was deployed to and confirmed in stage and deploys it to prod using the blue-green deployment strategy. The old replica set still exists, though it is not taking any traffic. We want to keep it around just in case post-deploy smoke tests fail. We run a simple smoke test against the new replica set, wait 30 minutes for good measure before scaling down the old replica set to free up resources. We keep the old scale down replica set around for another two hours to allow for a quick rollback. And after manual confirmation, we destroy the old replica set. We have successfully completed a safe deploy to prod. Now let's walk through how we set this up. Our build trigger specifies a build action when a push is made to the release branch of our GitHub repo. We could have simply used the Docker file located in source. However, in our demo, we want to use build steps, a feature in Google Container Registry build. The goal here is to build a lean container, one that doesn't include build artifacts related to compiling our code, such as the SDK and dependent libraries, rather only what is required to actually run our code. In our simple example, we want our automated builds to execute in two steps. One, compile and build the static binary. Then two, containerize that binary. The effect can be dramatic. For our Hello World app, building the container in a traditional manner through a single Docker file results in an image that is 241 megabytes in size. This includes the Go SDK and any dependent packages downloaded in the process of the binary build. Building the exact same container using build steps results in a 4 megabyte image between 1.5 and, and 2 orders of magnitude difference. It's a recognition that the container you build for prod release is often different than the container you might build for, say, your CI iteration. GCR build also generates and stores interesting signed metadata about your build, such as git branch, tag, commit hash, for the build that you can query later. Finally, we can do variable expansion to generate the image tag. Here, we tag the image with a pertinent commit hash to uniquely identify each image. The deploy to stage pipeline triggers when a new tag is added to the specific container registry. There is one stage, deploy. We deploy to the stage environment, employing the blue, green, red, black in Netflix land strategy, and we have it immediately scale down the old replica set when the new one is determined to be healthy. And we keep four replica sets around for the convenience of re-enabling old builds as needed. The validate pipeline triggers when the deploy to stage pipeline completes successfully. This pipeline also has one stage, manual judgment. The stage will pause for user confirmation, and we also have Spinnaker email the user when it reaches this stage. 
The Promote to Prod pipeline triggers when the Validate pipeline completes successfully with a user confirmation to proceed. We've also set email notifications to go out when the pipeline is starting, when it is complete, and if it has failed. In the Find Image stage, we specify coordinates for locating the image that was deployed to the newest replica set in the staging environment. We know this image is good, and we want to promote it rather than building or locating an image otherwise. Next, we deploy the image to the production environment. Once again, we employ the blue-green strategy, which will disable the old replica set, that is, stop sending traffic to it. However, we don't immediately scale down the old replica set in case something goes wrong and we need to immediately roll back. Instead, we first run a smoke test against the new prod replica set. This is a Spinnaker run job stage, which allows us to run an arbitrary container and proceed when it exits successfully. After passing the smoke test and waiting 30 minutes for good measure, we now scale down the old replica set, then eventually destroy the old replica set altogether. For more information, visit spinnaker.io and join our Slack channel at join.spinnaker.io.